First time I went to Anderlecht Stadium, inside was like, wow. So yeah, that's the, really the first time I've had a, a memory of football and um, yeah, it was a, a very good one. Were you an Anderlecht fan growing up? Yes, definitely. Um, I've always been around the club and my father was an uh, Anderlecht fan, so um, yeah, it's kind of in the family. So that must have been absolutely amazing to start your career there. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. That's because um, Anderlecht has always been the biggest club in, in Belgium and uh, the most titles, the better history. So yeah, so being um, straight into the Anderlecht Academy firstly and then into the Anderlecht first team was, yeah, it was amazing. The one that uh, stuck out for me, especially as a midfielder, was uh, Zidane. I've said it before, he was a really good player and I really enjoyed watching him play. And um, yeah, I tried to, to learn a lot from his YouTube videos, let's say. Have you always been a midfielder? Um, not really. <laughs> um, so my first uh, two football years, I was a goalkeeper. A goalkeeper? Yeah, goalkeeper when I was five and six, but then um, once I got a goal against me, I always picked up the ball and dribbled everybody <laughs> and then go on and score. But then the manager got crazy on me, so he said, yeah, um, go on to the pitch and uh, come out of the goal. So, so yeah, I become a, a midfielder from then. And from that point on, yeah, I've always been in and around the midfield. A very busy day. <laughs> uh, all the tests, medical stuff, uh, signing, uh, waiting for the papers to be <laughs> to be okay. So yeah, it was uh, it was <laughs> it was quite busy, and then I was really excited for for that experience to to play in England and to play for for a good club. And um, yeah, so yeah, it was a it was a really good day. What players came over and looked after you and said, we'll look after you, Yuri? Yeah, all of them, really. All of them. Um, Leicester is a, is a real family club and you can just feel the atmosphere around the club. Uh, inside the club is, is just the same and, and people try to, to help you day in, day out. And uh, all of the players have been, have been amazing with me. Did you have to sing a song, the initiation song? Yeah, it was the, the first away trip, so that's the, that's the rule. First away trip, you always sing your song. Um, so yeah, I passed that test as well. <laughs> what did you sing? Uh, Shape of You from Ed Sheeran. I don't know that one, how does it go? No, 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 <laughs> you know. <laughs> My first goal was against Fulham at home. It was a... A layoff from Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy. Is this the moment unselfishly for Tielemans to score? Vardy will wait for his 100 Leicester goal. Tielemans has his first. Your first goal to play at home in front of the fans and um, to be assisted from Jamie Vardy, legend of the club. So, yeah, it was a perfect, uh, perfect goal. How funny is Jamie Vardy? Very, <laughs> in his own style. <laughs> um, no, he's a really good guy, a uh, really good guy. Uh, very, very nice to have him around. And uh, like you say, he's, he's very funny, always joking around. And that's what you need um, in a team. You need guys like him to, to be funny. But once you get into the game, he's, uh, he's very focused and uh, he knows what he has to do to to get a job done and, and, yeah, that's what you need. Yourself and Jamie Vardy will be going to the FA Cup final. You must be buzzing. Yes, we are. Uh, we are very happy with uh, the journey that we had and hopefully we can finish it off on, on the 15th of May, but it will be a very difficult game against a really good opponent. I would wish you luck, but I wouldn't mean it because I'm a Chelsea fan, so I'm not going to wish you good ah, okay. luck. 
So let's stop this interview right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, thank you so much. No worries. See you, mate. Thank you.